I've been through a rough time in my life and I started forgetting who I was and what I'm really capable of. I want to get back up and be the best version of myself that I can be. As an introvert who's worked from home for the past five years, adding the stay-at-home orders and everything shutting down, I've started forgetting who I really was and how to find the motivation to be the best version of myself. But I want to change. In this series, I'm going to tackle all the aspects of my life that need work, like getting into shape, looking my best every day, creating the best routines to improve my workflow, improve my hair, skin, and most importantly, improve my mental health. Sounds like a lot, but I'm going to research and find the best methods to share with you in the hopes of inspiring you to go from saddie to baddie. Let's do this. I think we can all agree that year 2021 should be a reset year, a year where we can really truly work on ourselves and if you haven't gotten the chance to do that much in 2020, now's your time. I think for me, I've always had a hard time keeping up with routines. Um, I don't know why I'm built this way. I don't know why God made my life so difficult that all my brain wants to do is just disorganization and chaos. Even though I do not thrive in chaos, I only thrive when things are like neat and orderly. Otherwise, I go insane. But for some odd reason, it's very, very hard for me to do that. I don't know how it is where you're from, but here in California, the stay-at-home orders are pretty strict. So I haven't really left my house that much. And when you don't leave your house, it's hard to kind of find motivation every single day to like look good and presentable. Besides that, I feel like I've neglected my health, my um, fitness, my just overall way of how I feel about myself, you know, I feel like the, the level of effort that I used to put into myself was a lot higher. So I decided to start a little series, not just like showing you tutorials on how to be the best version of yourself and how to do this and how to do that, but me just coming in front of you human to human, um, kind of exposing myself, showing you the shortcomings in my life that needed work. So. For me personally, developing a system and some kind of routine that would simplify doing that chore, I guess chore, or, or doing something for yourself um, is what works for me. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to look cute at home. And I know you might be thinking, Evelina, I'm a mom and I have seven kids and I don't have time for that, or I have three jobs and I have this and I don't, I can't do it. Girl you have to find time because when you look good, you get more shit done, you feel better about yourself, you present a better version of yourself. So we're gonna take matters into our own hands, we're not gonna be sulking, we're not gonna be sitting on the couch um, with a laptop, you know, with, with a shirt and pajamas, Zoom calling people every day, pretending that everything is okay. We're going to start showing up for ourselves so we can be the best version of ourselves that we can be. Let's do this. I feel like it's so easy, you know, to be a baddie when you go to the club, when you go outside, when you go to a photo shoot to work with your friends, we can all do that. But truly, if somebody was gonna come into your house at any time of the day, um, it would be a nice little surprise to look good. Now, I'm not saying that it should be like a prison where you always have to look good, but the point is, if you can make those 10 minutes, five minutes, I don't know how long it takes you to get ready, maybe an hour, I don't know. If you can simplify that routine and get ready for yourself even a little bit every day, it will make your life so much better. First things first, the reason why you have nothing to wear all the time is because you have too many things in your closet that you're never gonna wear. Um, let's get rid of all the sparkly things, the crop tops, the Coachella outfits, the, the gowns, the dresses, anything that you cannot use in the next three months or even in the next one month that you can't use, take it all out, clean that shit out. That is very important to do because decision fatigue is a real thing. We are already overwhelmed with so many decisions that we have to make every single day and um, it gets a lot. You wanna kind of clear out those little tiny decisions that you have to make on a daily basis um, in order to focus on the real things, you know? So instead of having to decide on like a creativity, an outfit that would look good every single day, let's simplify that so you can make a very simple decision every day. To look cute at home, you don't have to wear a fancy blouse and heels. I mean, by any means, if you wanna do that, feel free to do that. My neighbors are gonna kill me if I stomp with my heels. 
Um, but I love wearing a nice sweatshirt. By the way, quick little plug. This is an unreleased Imprevu drop. Hey. Um, for those of you who don't know, Imprevu is my fashion line. Check it out down below. Anyways, I love wearing my sweatshirts. I love wearing my t-shirts. But that doesn't mean it has to be a raggedy t-shirt with holes and stains guilty some kind of old raggedy sweatshirt with mickey mouse on it that you've had from fifth grade put that shit away throw it out let's be better i personally love my sweatshirts i have like my cute tailored heavy sweaters and sweatshirts like for example this one is amazing um, it's a very heavy set material so it kind of feels like you're very put together um, like it feels very like structured and like <clears throat> you know like you have something like dope on you know so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab those items that you really, really like. Whether it's three items, five items, 10 items that you really love, that you always cannot wait to wear. Let's say it's two t-shirts, two sweatshirts and a sweater. See what you like about those things. Like for example, if you like the graphic on your t-shirt, um, keep that in mind. Or if you like the tailoring of a specific sweatshirt, um, also keep that in mind when you are shopping for those things. So after making a list of those things that you absolutely love in your wardrobe that you would love to wear at home and feel cute in, buy more of those. Just go and buy a couple of each or like one more of each so you can have more options. And this is going to be crucial for you to shop for the best pieces because when you make that list of things that already are working for you and go and specifically look for those pieces, um, to kind of enhance your wardrobe and like have those trusted pieces that you constantly wear it will be so much easier for you like i don't know why um, i always buy the wrong thing and i feel like a lot of you could probably relate to that i don't know why i'm always buying things like for very specific occasions you know oh this would be perfect when i'm gonna be you know at dinner sundown in like mexico and puerto vallarta dancing this is such a perfect little dress and then days go by those occasions never happen and i'm basically stuck with like clothes i can't wear so this next tip is going to change your life if you're already on tiktok you've probably seen it but if you love wearing sweatshirts and t-shirts at home get those color inserts from amazon you can get like three different colors or multiple colors they're like 15 dollars a pack and you can just layer them underneath your t-shirts and sweatshirts and it looks cute you have like a little pointy collar i love that look like when i'm home alone and i just wear that and i start typing on the computer everything i'm doing feels more important the neighbors dropping by the house <laughs> what's up i feel so official i feel so important i'm going on an errand i look like i just got off a meeting or something like that that little color elevates your look so much like it's my favorite they also have turtlenecks and you don't have to have that heavy layering uncomfortable feeling so you can literally be at home and just have that underneath. It doesn't add extra any weight and you look so cute. Organizing your closet and all the things that you own isn't just important just for like aesthetics and looks. It's important for you to have like a ritual of dressing up in the morning where you can kind of see your options and like feel like dignified by, by doing that. It's not just like a huge mess around you and you don't know where anything is and you're just kind of drowning in like, choices and you don't know what to do i've always been so bad at organizing my dresser and i went on a research rampage and i found these little dividers for all the socks which has been so helpful and like little tiny cubes for all the underwear so i don't have to like stack them anymore in like a weird way my sock drawer was always a mess and a nightmare because no matter how you arrange socks they still kind of always look messy so having those little compartments that kind of allows you to see everything is just so so nice it's life-changing like i recommend it so much for my other drawers i got those dividers so i could divide my t-shirts my pants my sweatpants my first drawer is all my workout stuff and i kind of put the cute things towards the front um, instead of like you know layering them underneath because i like looking at them i like opening my uh, closet or my drawers and kind of see like the pretty little things at the front like it just makes me happy so that's definitely a tip that i recommend doing while we're on the organization side of this video, I thought it would be a perfect segue to show you this. Since we don't do much partying or entertaining these days, I decided to turn my bar cart into a tea bar. And honestly, it is the best decision and I highly recommend doing this. You have all your spoons, sugar, honey, instant coffee, and a variety of teas all in one place. 
What is that cute mug, may you ask? Well, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, Smoto Coffee Warmer and Wireless Charger. I don't know about you, but I hate warm tea. I like it either hot or iced. So you just press the button for a few seconds until it blinks red and your warmer is on and it will keep your drink at a constant temperature. It also doubles as a charger for your phone, AirPods, or any devices that support wireless charging. So having this on your desk is pretty awesome. You can find this on Amazon and it is linked in the description below. Now back to the video. Also, if you have small closet space and you don't know how to organize my pants, I used to just kind of fold them and put them in my uh, dresser as well. And that was not a good method because one, I have way too many pants and it would just take like two full drawers to fill my pants. So again, I want a little research. So I found that these sort of like spirally looking hangers to hang all my pants is fantastic. I can hang all of my pants that I'm currently using in my closet and it takes as much room as like two to three hangers. It's like genius. When it comes to bottoms at home, um, I don't really like wearing tight jeans. I kind of just stop wearing tight jeans altogether to be honest. Um, I love wearing like biker shorts. I feel like biker shorts are so versatile and so comfortable. You can definitely dress them down with a hoodie, make it casual, make it cute. I love my Imprevu shorts. I have them on the website. They're still available. Definitely go check them out. Um, they do have like a little bit of a white stitching around it to kind of give it some more of an interesting detailing and it has like the Imprevu logo on the back which makes them kind of more like streetwear looking um, and also they're just like uh, soft but they're more compression short so they kind of like lift and cinch everything in so if you want to feel comfortable but also snatched definitely recommend my shorts. The next thing and probably the most important thing is make your dressing up routine in the morning like a little self-care ritual. You know, when we start looking at doing something, it's like, oh, I have to get ready. Like, I have to look good. I have to look cute. I have to do this. I have to, I have to. Um, it just becomes this thing that we don't want to do. We kind of feel like imprisoned by it. But when you treat it as something that you get to do, you know, I get to look good for myself today. I get to look better for whoever's gonna, you know, come into my life today. I get to be the best or a nice version of myself and when you do that you kind of build self-respect you build self-esteem because doing the things that are hard to do are actually what builds self-esteem you know when you get yourself to do those difficult tasks that you usually don't want to do uh, something switches in your brain that kind of just makes you love and respect yourself more so if you're struggling with self-esteem issues or you're feeling depressed about how you look Start dressing up and putting yourself together every single day. Doesn't matter where you're going, every single day, mama. Another problem when I shop is that I always buy like really sexy, like tight things, you know, like body suits and crop tops and things like that. And most days I don't want to be sexy. You know, most days I just want to be comfy and I want to I wanna feel cute, but I'm not trying to like be sexy, if that makes sense. Like it gets tiring and I feel like a lot of my wardrobe is like my the stuff that I buy for Coachella or I get gifted from Coachella, which is a lot. So the whole year I'm like, I don't wanna wear a tiny bathing suit with a string up my ass right now. I just wanna be comfortable. So yeah, take those things out. If they don't serve you, if they don't make you happy, like the good old Marie Kondo said, if they don't bring you joy, throw them out. Don't hesitate to wear and rewear your nice, beautiful, pretty things. I have always been that person that it's like, oh, I'm saving this for a special occasion. Like, I love this. And I would only wear it like very rarely. And then it would like kind of, you know, lose its spark. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like the hot item right now or like something like it's not as interesting or I'm just like over it, but I only got to wear like a couple times. Don't wait for a special occasion. Every life is your special occasion. So if you have those things that you love, wear them. Even if you're at home, even if nobody's gonna see you that day, you love that piece of clothing, wear that. So in this series, I have a bunch of topics that I'm gonna be covering um, that will take you from a saddie to baddie, and I have a lot of ideas coming up, but I want you a part of it. I want you guys to tell me what you would like me to cover. Um, leave those comments down below. The ones with the most thumbs up, I'm going to pick and film a video on them. Anything from how to dress, how to look better, how to organize your makeup, how to organize your house, how to do your nails like a baddie, you know, because if you are a baddie, you kind of always kind of have good nails. It's, it's part of the deal. And I want to show you how to do those at home like a pro every single time. That is all that I have for today um, as far as looking good at home. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. I feel like 
I want to do this, you know? I'm not just like telling you, you go do it, I want to do it. I want to wake up every day and be the best version of myself that I can be. For the next episode, I'm going to keep a topic that you guys are interested, that you want me to cover in depth and how to do it and how to um, improve yourself in that area. If you need a little wardrobe refresher of pieces that are beautiful, high quality, amazingly crafted, simple pieces that you can wear at home if you are not going to work. Um, they weren't designed to be worn at home. They're pieces that you can dress up or down, but they work perfectly when you're trying to kind of put yourself together while you are working at home. They're a great baseline to start so you don't have to be too overwhelmed. And also go give us a like on Instagram. That would be really awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And on that note, I love you guys so much. Oh, hey.